This is lesson 97 in the basic JavaScript section of a free code camp. This lesson is profile lookup. And it says we have an array of objects representing different people in our contacts list. A lookup profile function that takes first name and a property prop as arguments has been pre-written for you. The function should check if first name is an actual contact's first name and the given property prop is a property of that contact. If both are true, then return the value of that property. If first name does not correspond to any contacts, then return no such contact. If prop does not correspond to any valid properties, return no such property. So we're going to pretty much use, I'm going to use a for loop and a nested if statement to accomplish this. So let's come over here. Right here, I'll start my for loop that's going to pretty much go through our contacts. So we're going to say for var i assigned to zero as long as i is less than the length of contacts. Uh, contacts dot length. As long as that is cool, then we'll increment i as long as that's true so as long as that's true we want it to go in here into our if statement and we want it to check whatever contact we're currently at which we can uh, specify with i because contacts it's starting at zero it's going to be targeting this one then contacts one would be the second one, contacts two would be the third one, and contacts three, the fourth one. So it's going through those inside of this for loop. That's what this for loop's doing. The first time through, when it's zero, it's looking at that very first one. So if contacts i, which at the moment is talking about this one, is equal uh, I want to also specify first name so contacts I because I'm talking about the key first name is equal to whatever is passed in as first name then we wanted to do this and the second if statement is going to take, it's going to check if it has the property um, that we pass in, which our second if statement will say if contacts i dot has own property. I'll just spell that right. Property and we pass in prop and then we want it to return contacts I uh, we want to return prop. And and this should actually return. If this is true, let's say here they pass in Akira and likes. So first Akira gets passed in here into first name, prop has likes. So when it comes into our if statement, it's going to check if um, whatever is in context I dot first name is the same as what we pass in, which is Akira. So we come up here. It should be true because 
first name is Akira. And then it will come into the second if statement and check if it has this property called likes. We'll check if contacts I has own property of uh, likes, which it does. It's right here. So then we tell it to return whatever likes is. So that should return peaks of coding brownie points. Um, so next, we want a semicolon there. So then our if statement ends there, and then we say else. return no such property okay and just to make sure so they'll return no such property but what if there's no such contact we would want that to actually be outside of all this and we would return return no such contact <clears throat> and we want this out here because we only want this returned if this stuff up here is false so if once it gets to this part of the if statement in our for loop if it checks and that first name isn't there it's going to go back into the for loop it's going to check the um, whatever's in index one it's going to check if that has that first name it's going to look here if it doesn't have it then it'll go back into our for loop it'll check here if it has it if not it'll go back into the for loop and check if it's here and once it checks all of them if it still can't find it then it won't run none of this it will automatically come down here and it will return no such contact so that should actually be it for this lesson if i go down here this should return and we'll try one of these so we'll switch this with harry likes and that should return an array what should it return exactly let's look should return Hogwarts, Magic, and Hagrid. So if we run this, has own property is not a function. So let's look down here. If I say if something wrong. And I think I found it spelled has wrong. And now it should be good.